Hi, and welcome to the Pool Guy Podcast Show. In this episode, I'm going to go over how you calculate how much boric acid or borax to add to your pool if you're going to add borax to your pool. And if you're not going to use a pre-blended formula, which is perfectly fine also, I'm going to go over some tips on how to calculate how much to add to your pool to get the right amount in your pool, which is a sweet spot of 30 to 50 parts per million. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Also receive priority service, enhanced rebate programs, a discount on your general liability insurance through SPA, a discount on your pool riding software through Skimmer, and an opportunity to co-brand with Leslie's on your social media, website, truck, and more. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Leslie's Pro. So there aren't a whole lot of options for getting the borate reading in a pool besides test strips and there are a few manufacturers that make borate test strips. They're fairly decent. They're going to give you of course what a test strip gives you which is a ballpark. If you really want an accurate reading and you of course probably don't want to do this if you don't have a spin touch already because then you have to buy a thousand dollar tester. But if you have a spin touch they do have a borate disc. It's the 4330H-4330-H and that's their borate disc and it's actually very accurate but again that's one of the things when it comes to adding borates to your pool you really can't take it to a pool store because most of them don't have the spin touch with that disc they just have the standard discs and you have to order them yourself so if you're a pool service company and you have a spin touch I definitely would recommend the 4330-H disc and that will do the borates for you. But everyone else, I think, is going to rely on a test strip. So I think there's a good rule of thumb that I've come up with over the years with adding borates to the pool. Before I had the spin touch with the disc, I would do this. And I think it'll help you out when you're adding borates to your pool. And I'm going to go ahead and start with boric acid. Because that's something that I think um, people are leaning towards using. Because of the fact that it has a lower pH. And so... There's no major pH or alkalinity adjustments necessary after adding it. And I probably would caution you of adding over 25 pounds of it at one time because it will lower the pH slightly and you don't want to overdo it when it comes to um, adding the boric acid. So if you're going to add 50 pounds to a pool, 25 pounds one day, 25 pounds the next visit or the next day, depending if you're a homeowner or a pool service professional, um, that's kind of how I would do it. And of course, you can definitely get a pre-measured um, pre-measured or mixed, I guess I would say, a borate product that's been manufactured. I don't really know how to say it properly, I guess. Something that's labeled and it's a borate product, like the BioGuard Optimizer. And there's a dosage chart on the back to get you to 35 parts per million. And I think that dosage chart is very accurate for that product. So it's 1.5 pounds per 1,000 gallons of water. And that's actually pretty close to the boric acid calculation that you would be using. Um, the 1.5 pounds per every 1,000 gallons of water is pretty close to that. Um, you can get a more accurate reading, and I'll go over how I do that. Um, but there's nothing wrong, again, with a pre-mixed borate product like this. And then you can easily calculate how much to add to bring it to a certain level. And then you would test it with a test strip to see if you're kind of in that ballpark. But I like using the Pool Calculator app. You can go to app.poolcalculator.com, or you can just Google poolcalculator.com, and it'll pop up. Again, that's app dot poolcalculator.com I think I said at it's app dot poolcalculator.com and that'll take you to the pool calculator which I think is a fantastic program and it used to be hosted by trouble free pools and an individual purchased the software and he's um, hosting it right now or running the software and so there's a borate um, section on there and what you want to do is put the amount of gallons of your pool so I have the calculator open here on my computer and I put 20,000 gallons of water the current borate level is zero and I want to get to 40 parts per million so let me change that really quick to 40 parts per million and I'll go over why I pick 40 parts per million um, in this example and why I like to use 40 parts per million so 20,000 gallons and I want to get to 40 parts per million the pool calculator 
Dot-com says I need to add 38 pounds of boric acid, which is pretty close to the optimizer. When I put in 35 parts per million in the pool calculator, it wanted me if it wanted me to add 33 pounds of um, boric acid, and I divided that by 1.5, so that's 22. So it's a little bit more boric acid than the optimizer product, um, but not much more. So it's pretty spot on with the optimizer, their um, their measurement dosage or their dosage recommendation. So 40 parts per million, and the reason why I picked that is because um, 20,000 gallons of water, your pool may be 18,000 gallons, it may be 22,000 gallons. You really can't get an accurate measurement in a lot of cases. You would do the old standard measuring, the width, the length, the amount of water, then you would divide that. There's a lot of formulas online, I'm not going to go over that in this podcast, but you can find those formulas to get the gallons of water for your pool. And of course, on the pool calculator uh, website, there's also a volume calculator to kind of help you get your gallons down. But the point is, you're not going to get 20,000 gallons exactly. You're not going to get 18,000 gallons exactly. So the reason why I picked 40 parts per million is that if your pool is 22,000 gallons and you have 40 parts per million as your goal, if you add 30 pounds of boric acid to that pool, let me just change my numbers here. So I play with the pool calculator all the time, so I can kind of do this and and go over this with you on the podcast. So I change the gallons and the um, amount of water to 22,000 gallons, and then I change the goal parts per million to 36, and that gives me 38 pounds. And so if your pool is 22,000 gallons and you're calculating for a 20,000-gallon pool at 40 parts per million, and it's actually 22,000 gallons, you're going to be at 36 parts per million. So you're going to be within that sweet spot of 30 to 50 parts per million. And in my testing, I don't really think there's a huge difference between 30 and 50 parts per million. Some may disagree with me, but I've tested this with the pools on my route and with my own personal pool. And I think if you're above 30 parts per million, you're fine. If you're near 50 parts per million, you're fine. So this will get you there without really anything complicated like getting a $1,000 tester and kind of getting the borate disc and trying to get it exactly spot on because it's not necessary, I don't think, with the borates in the pool, to be honest with you. So if it's an 18,000-gallon pool, let me put those numbers in, hold on. So I changed the pool volume to 18,000 gallons, and then I changed the goal to 44 parts per million, and what do you know, it's 38 pounds of boric acid. And that's kind of how I kind of get that sweet spot without really having the exact measurement of the pool because you're never going to get the exact measurement, especially if you have an attached spa or if it's a free-form pool. But it gets you in that range, and so um, 38 pounds will get an 18,000-gallon pool to 44 parts per million, and it'll get a 22,000-gallon pool to 36 parts per million. So I pick 40 parts per million as my kind of sweet spot, and then it's either more or less based on how close you were at estimating your pool size. You can add too much, of course. you got to be careful. Don't um, underestimate your pool by too much when you do this kind of rule of thumb. But if you get pretty close to the amount of gallons of water in your pool, you can use the boric acid um, to raise the borate level to that level without having to do major adjustments with the pH and alkalinity. Now, if you are bolder and you want to try the 20 team mule, 20 team, the 20 mule team borax and try to raise your borate level with that, it's got a pretty high pH, I think nine or something like that. And definitely you can do that. So to get it to 40 parts per million in a 20,000 gallon pool, you have to add about 59 pounds of it to the pool, which is a lot of borax to the pool, by the way. Um, So definitely we'll split that up 25 pounds or 30 pounds one day and then the rest the next day. So it's not the ideal way to add borax to a pool, but it is effective, especially if you're dealing with a pool that has a very low pH, which happens a lot um, with the startup. Or if you have a vinyl or fiberglass pool and you notice the pH is really low, if you test it with a digital meter and it's like at 5 or 6, adding the borax to the pool will raise the pH up fairly significantly without moving the alkalinity that much. And I know that a lot of the um, information out there is saying that when you add the 20 meal team borax to the pool, the alkalinity is going to go up pretty high. But it's not the case in the real world, in the field. I use it all the time, the raised pH, and the alkalinity rarely moves much at all. Um, in a lot of cases, it may if you put like 30 pounds in, it may go up like, you know, 30 or 20 in a fairly good sized pool. So it's not going to move that much. Um, but if you wanted to use the borax because you have low pH to begin with, I definitely recommend that. You can also lower your pH down and then use the borax um, 
to raise it up at the same time you're adding it. And so you're going to add the borates, raise the pH, everything will be fine. And so the same math goes with the borax as with the um, boric acid. You're going to have a higher amount of borates if you add it to a smaller pool, 18,000 gallons, and then you're going to have less of it if you add it to a 22,000 gallon pool. So I definitely recommend using the poolcalculator.com app to calculate the borates in your pool. With this kind of rule of thumb, you're going to land pretty close to where you need to be by doing this. And so if you use a test strip, you'll get a ballpark. Of course, it'll tell you 30 to 40 or 50 parts per million by the color. And then if you do check it with the spin touch disc, you're going to see that um, it's pretty spot on. I've done testing with the spin touch by doing this method and I can get a pool pretty much in the sweet spot every time unless I'm kind of way off with the sizing of the pool. And But the beauty of this method, if you're not way off in the sizing, um, you're going to be in that sweet spot with adding either the borax or the boric acid. And of course, if you're using a pre-measured formula like the BioGuard Optimizer, it calls for 1.5 pounds per 1,000 gallons of water. Um, it's a pretty easy product to kind of calculate. So if you have a 10,000 gallon pool, you're going to need 15 pounds of the optimizer. Um, and if you have a bigger pool, of course, you just kind of multiply that. Um, but definitely there's some, you know, there's definitely a market for the um, pre-mix borate products. I like the optimizer because I like kind of leaving the bucket at the customer's house and saying, hey, look, I added this to your pool. That's why you just got this charge for, you know, $80 or $75, depending on how much I add to the pool, of course. Um, I usually just charge them for the cost of the product. I don't charge them to put it in there because the benefits of the bore rates help me as the pool um, care provider. So if you have customers that like to see the package that you put in there, then definitely I would go with the BioGuard Optimizer instead of a bag of boric acid. It just looks cleaner. And I think overall it's better optics for the customer to see a you know manufactured container over a bag of boric acid that you may show them. So that's one of the, this is a side note, I guess. Um, but basically, if you use this formula, um, you don't have to do any kind of hard math or crunching things because there's no way you're going to know exactly how much water is in there. And like I mentioned a few times already, 30 to 50 parts per million, I think, is the sweet spot when you're adding borates to a pool. And of course, I have many podcasts here on the benefits of borates. And if you listen to anything that I've done with Bob Lowry, he really talks up borates, you know, a bunch. And I think it's definitely not overhyped. It does have the great benefits of keeping the pH in balance or buffering the pH, I should say. And it is an algestat, so algae will not grow in the pool. And I've done this test where I left my pool zero chlorine for three weeks in April. And finally, the water started getting cloudy. And then I got a little bit of algae in the step areas. And I knew I needed to add some chlorine at that point. Um, but it definitely will keep algae from blooming and growing in most cases, unless you have no chlorine for three weeks. And then um, it just has that extra sparkle to the water. Uh, many great benefits. And I definitely think, I think one of the benefits I should mention too, that it's kind of a one and done product in most areas. So you put that big dosage in, 38 pounds of it. And the next season you may need five or six pounds or seven pounds, depending on the dilution, because like cyanuric acid and salt, it doesn't evaporate out of the pool. So great benefits for adding borates. And that's kind of how I calculate it. And I think you can really utilize this rule of thumb. And then, of course, the question arises, where can you find the granular boric acid to add to the pool? And in some cases, you can find it locally at a lawn care store, sometimes at a hardware store. And some pool wholesale distributors are actually carrying the boric acid. Um, the guys in my group, a lot of them get it from dudadiesel.com. And I'll read out the website for you here. It's Duda, D-U-D-A, and then Diesel, D-I-E-S-E-L dot com. So DudaDiesel.com. And you can order in bulk, and they'll ship it to you freight. And so if you order a pallet, you'll definitely get a lower price on a 55-pound uh, bag of the boric acid. And so if you refer to the calculation that I just did, you can see that you're going to need quite a bit of boric acid for your pool route, especially if you're going to do it in all your pools. And that one 20,000 gallon pool took, you know, 38 pounds. So that's almost a whole bag, one whole bag of the boric acid. So 
some of the prices just now at the recording of this podcast. If you buy 40 bags, it'll be $54 per 55 pound, which is about a dollar per pound, which is actually a pretty good price on it. So if you can order bulk, you can definitely save money. I also found it on Amazon. They have an Amazon store. Let me just click over to there real quick. It's listed under Due to Energy on Amazon. And you get a 25-pound bag for $53. So you can see that by buying bulk, it's definitely a really good savings on that uh, versus, you know, purchasing on an Amazon and you're getting half of that for, you know, pretty much twice the price. Of course, it's free shipping um, if you do get it on Amazon. Or you can buy, of course, the pre-mixed product like the BioGuard Optimizer. And they also sell that on Amazon. And you can also contact BioGuard and become a distributor. And you could probably get a good price on the 40-pound buckets of their BioGuard. I think one of the things with the pre-blended formula is that it's pretty much pH neutral for you right off the bat. And so BioGuard Optimizer for a 40-pound bucket on Amazon is $160. So what is that, like $3, roughly $3 per pound, or actually more than $3 per pound. So quite expensive to buy the pre formula versus a bag of boric acid, which is very similar. Um, you may not have quite the pH neutral that Optimizer gives you. So I would say just the pure boric acid is definitely the better deal when you're adding a large amount of the borate product to the pool to bring the borate level to 30 to 50 parts per million. And then, of course, a 20 mule team borax, you can get that at your local Walmart, Target, you know, maybe even Home Depot. And so for a four pound box of the 20 mule team borax, you're paying about $4.50 plus tax here in California at Walmart. Um, so that's about a dollar per pound also. Um, again, the borax will raise the pH and alkalinity in the pool, pH more so than the alkalinity. So that route, of course, is very affordable but then you have to kind of lower the pH down. So it kind of calculates some uh, muriatic acid cost into that, but it's still much cheaper than the pre-blended formula, the BioGuard Optimizer that I mentioned. And it's about similar price to the boric acid. The convenience factor, being able to go into Walmart or Target picking it up is probably one reason why a lot of people use the borax to put the borates in the pool versus the boric acid, which sometimes can be hard to find in your area. Um, definitely... You can look around for it and Google it. I think the due to diesel.com is probably a good source for it. And a lot of people, like I said in my group, have ordered um, freight pallets of it delivered to their house. And then they kind of team up with other pool companies in their area and they kind of split the cost of that. So one of the ways to save money on that is to get it delivered in bulk. But I think going forward, a lot of pool wholesalers are going to start carrying the boric acid because it is becoming very popular in the industry especially with the current shortage of trichlor tablets which was a staple of the industry for many years and with the borates um, again since it's an algistat and since it keeps the ph balance you're going to use a lot less chlorine in the pool as a side effect which is a good side effect by the way of the product and that's why adding borates to the pool has becoming is becoming much more popular and there's really no good reason not to add the borate to your pool water especially if you have a large pool route or if you're a homeowner looking for a way to save money and also to make your pool care easier, adding the borates to 30 to 50 parts per million to your pool is definitely ideal. With that said, if you're looking at a borate product, I do have the optimizer on my website, swimmingprolearning.com. And of course, you can, uh, if you have any questions about adding borates to your pool, you can email me at david at swimmingprolearning.com. And if you're in the business and you want to enhance your business, check out my coaching program at poolguycoaching.com. A lot of great benefits for joining, and I think you can really enhance your business by being part of the coaching program. And again, that's poolguycoaching.com. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Have a great rest of your week, and God bless. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.